nice in here. I think we're too quiet. This should be a celebration because we have some good results on the board. First, let me say thanks to those three members who contested those three seats on the Board of Education. We appreciate the fact that you stepped out and ran for the Board of Education. It is a very difficult task, and being a school board member is not easy. But you stepped out in the hope that you will be successful and that you will be able to work for transformation in our school district, and you fell short. But I don't want that to deter you. I don't want that to deter you. We appreciate the effort that you made, and we ask you to stay involved, continue to work for the betterment of our school district, and I hope people would benefit, and that our school district would regain its lost reputation as a result of the hard work that I am hoping that all nine members of the board come January will commit themselves, will make that pledge that they will work in the absolute best interest of our students, our school district, and our city. So again, thank you for being I also want to congratulate the three members, Webb, Wyatt, and Virgo for the race that they ran and for achieving the victory this evening. So congratulations to those three. Now to the municipal side. I want to congratulate my running mate, Terry Graves Jones. I look forward, we look forward to working with you and welcoming you as a member of the governing body come January 1st of 2022. So again, congratulations. And we know that you will do well. Everything that we do in the city, we do in partnership. No man is an island. And I don't profess to be an island, and that's why I need good people working with me, working with my administration, so that we could achieve the absolute best results for our city. And we may not always agree, and I don't think that we should always agree. <laughs> my wife and I, we don't always agree. <laughs> so I don't expect you to always agree with me. And that goes for all of the members of the government body, and they know this. They know that we have our respectful differences, but at the end of the day, we always come together and we pursue a course of action that is best for the city of Plainfield. So I look forward, uh, Terry, to working with you. But I want to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and your dedication. What you did for me over the course of the last several months of the campaign season, going back to the spring, so many of you that walk every block across all four wards of our city, working closely with me and doing all that you could to spread the word and to tell the people of Plainfield that I am the best person at this time to continue to lead our city forward. And I could not have done it without the hard work of so many of you who found the pavement, who made contributions, and who helped me to get that word out. That Plainfield is doing well. Plainfield can do better. Plainfield must do better. And we will do better. But we will do that with the assistance of each and every one of you. And you must hold me accountable. I hold the members of my administration accountable because at the end of the day, I was elected to lead the city and the buck stops with me. 
So I will continue to do all that I can to do right by the people and to continue to lead our city forward. We have been making changes that are transformation. And there are many things we have in store in the pipeline that will continue to move this city forward. And we will not leave anyone behind. Our young people are so critically important. And the council president knows of a plan that we have for the Plainfield Center of Excellence which is an idea that has been on the drawing board for a few years and which will come to fruition in the next 18 to 24 months. And you will see, you will see that transformation in the fourth ward on Hannah Atkins where we will create a center of excellence for the benefit of all of our young people, but for all of our people education, the arts, recreation, will all be housed in this Plainfield Recreation, this Plainfield Center of Excellence. That's a pledge. We're going to deliver on that. We will continue the journey of economic development and redevelopment that have been doing so much to improve our bottom line, to generate revenues that will help us to cushion the impact of ever rising property taxes in the state so that our people could sleep more comfortably at night, not having to worry about the tax bill, about the rate that they have to pay. And we will do all that we can to increase revenues. We will provide some assistance to property owners in 2022, we pledge that we will put some of the American Rescue Plan funds that we have received to reduce the impact of property taxes on our seniors and on our taxpayers in general. We will continue to work on our infrastructure, continue to pave roads across all of our city, improving our parks, and just creating a better experience for all of our people. We know that we have to go outside of Plainfield anytime we want to have an event. No banquet facilities exist in the city as of now that you know of. But in 2022, you will see a state-of-the-art banquet facility open right on Park Avenue that will seat four to 500 people. Wow. You will see a state-of-the-art restaurant. <laughs> and the restaurant tour has told me that that restaurant will be equal to or better than the Stone House, wow. Liberty Village, yeah. those restaurants that are up there. And so this is what we're talking about in terms of the quality of the experience that we will bring to the people of Plainfield. That is coming in the spring of 2022. <laughs> we have also approved a major redevelopment project in the heart of our downtown. Second Street, Central, Front Street, Madison. $110 million project that will also, on the 10th floor, house a banquet facility to seat in the neighborhood of 500 people as well as a rooftop restaurant. That's coming, that's a fact. That's not a quite dream, that is happening. So we will continue the march to transformation in the city with the assistance of each and every one of you. So although these are not the final results because these results don't include the early voting, they don't include vote by mail, they don't include the provision of ballots. So these numbers will change. But these numbers are a very good 
indicator of who the winners are in this election in the city of Plainfield. As to the governor, we did a very thorough job going across the city of Plainfield, knocking on doors, getting the word out that our governor deserves to be re-elected to a second term. Yeah. And I know <laughs> these results in Plainfield are an indication of what will happen across the state as a whole. So I predict to you right now that Governor Murphy will be the first Democrat to be reelected as governor since 1977. And our partners on the Union County Board of Commissioners also did very well. They know that we do everything we can to get the vote out and to get the support that they need and deserve because the county has been a great partner to the city of Plainfield. I must also mention my friend, the chair of our Union County Democratic Party, the chair of the State Judiciary Committee, Nick Scutari, Nick, Nicholas. Hello, Senator! We did it for you! We did it for you! Or say something, Senator. How you doing, Mayor? Hey, everybody. Thanks for your help. Congratulations. We are doing wonderful. We thank you, and we will continue to partner with you to move the city and the country forward and the state. So we thank you.